hello. Happy one week before, less than a week before Christmas. I still don't know how it happened so fast. <laughs> Today I want to work on some drawings. I started a doll impromptu a little while ago. Uh, she was a reboot Frankie Stein Monster High doll and which means that you know she has very little articulation and was just kind of sad. So I decided to just have at her, I suppose. There we go. On all her pieces. <laughs> Uh, the first thing I did was wipe her hair clean, wipe her face clean, and then reboot her with this fluffy pink acrylic yarn. I haven't decided if I'm going to straighten it yet, or if I like the texture as it is. It's very fluffy. So I'm going to plan what I want her face to look like, and then I also want to plan her outfit. And I think her outfit's the thing that I'm more concerned about. Right now her body is in pieces. <laughs> I went ahead and took off the arms, cut them down so that I can give her elbow joints. I cut off her legs at the knees so I can give her knee joints. And then I also cut her torso so that I could reposition it because it was kind of just like she was leaning, leaning sideways and I want her to feel more neutral position wise. So I need to go ahead and fill that with epoxy sculpt. That won't be today. Today we're just going to do some drawing and some painting because I haven't sat down to just draw for a while and that sounds like a really nice thing to do right now. I do want to note I do want to note some fabrics that I have that I want to reference for the outfit because I think I want multiple patterns in it. I think that would look very cute. And the thing I have the most of is this pink cotton with diamond pattern, sort of a diamond pattern. And it looks muted, which this is not my favorite pink, not my favorite shade of pink, but it's pretty close. I like a dusty rose, and it's pretty, pretty close to that. And then I have these four fabric scraps that I would like to turn into something. So I'm going to reference these and then see what I can do. Alrighty. I'm going to be using my Canson multi-medium uh, pad, which of course I covered with stickers, so I can read that off the top of my head. And find a page that I haven't scribbled upon yet. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to be using a mechanical pencil from Papermate G-Force and various erasers. And I should also start with a warm-up because I haven't done this in months. <laughs> There's a reason I've wanted to do some drawing. Because it's just it's just been a while and I miss it. Trying to remind myself that when you're doing a warm up, you need to just go with whatever comes to mind because that's literally what you're doing. Well, I'm rusty, Jesus. <laughs> Mm. 
Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Because I'm a genius at these things. And will totally not forget. Also, I haven't done a drawing video like this for... four years at this point. Which isn't that amazing when I think about it, because of course, since I started, I... I think only did three videos in the first year that I started. And then I didn't I did one video in 2019, and then I didn't do anything in 2020, so it's not that incredible. It's just been a very, but it's still been a long time since I actually drew with a camera on, so. Been watching a lot of coverage of the 2000, 2000, the December 10th storms, so tornadoes are quite a bit on my mind at the moment. If you were affected, I'm very sorry, and I, yeah, I guess that's all I can say at the moment. <sighs> all right, how long has it been? Time, tell me why am I like this? Well, I definitely feel better just from <laughs> looking at these initial circles to these, so I think that's good for the warm up. Let's flip you back around. Grab Frankie to get a face reference. I think I'll do at least a few of these. I do want to do some full body shots, so it won't be and some details. So I think I'll just try three different looks and then have that be what I focus on, just threes, I suppose. So I suppose the indulgent thing that I want to do is some sort of Lolita look, whether that be with pants or skirts or some... I I'm not sure. I'm not too married to any specific look. I just know I want to use the greens and pinks and figure something else out there. Secure her button nose. And I suppose I do want a fantasy feeling, but not too removed and not specifically super fantasy-esque, I suppose. Just a cute outfit, I guess. And I also haven't decided what her hair is going to look like. I initially thought that a cute, fluffy bob... would be nice. And maybe, maybe it still is. Do that as one hairstyle. We could do a little bit of a longer thing. That's just both down. 
And then we could also do, I think I do want bangs on this. Since I gave myself bangs, I have been very happy with how it looks and how it feels. I used to have bangs quite a bit as a kid and I didn't like them that much. Mostly because every time you go a certain period without getting a haircut or cutting it yourself, or that's why I didn't cut my own hair, I, you get that, to me, what felt like a really awkward stage of the length of the hair is just not, it's so much in your eyes and you can't really put it up easily and stuff like that, so, uh, it was very frustrating, I didn't think I'd ever go back to bangs, but I did, and I'm very happy I did. <laughs> I guess we'll start with those three hairstyles and do some more cleanup and detail work. Alright. I am trying to keep this relatively quick. I don't want to, I do absolutely tend to get lost in the details. And that is not the point of this video. This or these drawings, I'm trying to just get ideas, excuse me, and figure out what I want to do from there. Wow, I did not even think about where to place those nostrils. These almost feel like Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> That could be buttercup, or that could be buttercup, and that could be bubbles. And, ugh. I do want a shorter hairstyle. I think that is definitely a design choice. That is for sure. But I also really like the blocks on the side in this one. I'm kind of leaning more toward this one right now, but I need to give the other ones a shot. So I guess I'm. This one's really got a snarky look, and I think I'm just going to lean into it. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? See other things I can briefly talk about before I go into just time lapse and drawing, free drawing. We got the house. The house that I mentioned we put an offer on last exactly a week ago. We got it and we managed to go through all of the paperwork already and get the inspection done and the appraisal done and things are looking good overall and I can't really believe it honestly but yeah it's been it's been a stressful week for sure but we got there and now we're just kind of gonna wait and see it really we're just kind of at the waiting point at this moment and it's, it's nice to get it done before the holidays, so, and we're really excited to get into the house and start work on it. It's a fixer-upper. It's a house with good, good bones, thankfully, so I'm happy about, we're both happy about that, but it will take a lot of work. And I think we're ready for it. We've had quite a bit of a break since our last renovation and we miss it honestly so we're ready to go again for sure okay i'm not really doing a makeup look here i think i'm gonna bring out the paints in a little bit after i get all the line work in and then really decide what i want to do i almost a sassy look in this one I don't think this is particularly Lolita-esque <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> it's just what I felt like drawing at the moment, which is fine. That happens. I really do like this bubble pigtail look. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, if I... I I'm definitely would give her eyeliner. She has pretty normal eyebrows. I need to look at the eye here. I feel like I get the when you wa when you watch tutorials and talk about and they the given artist will talk about, you know, you want to put down the overall shape of the hair first. I think I have that okay, but the actual details of where the strands fall and everything is just really hard for me to visualize and I just need to practice that more. Start doing a little clean up. Feels so good to draw again. I've missed it so much. I don't know how I let it go so long without it drawing again. I mean, I think I definitely had or struggled with the feelings of oh, it's not very good, and I shouldn't ever show that to anybody, and I. I'm definitely trying to get away from that mindset because I very much enjoy drawing even though it's not very good and everything. So I don't particularly care as much as I used to, I suppose. So you're not a particularly Lolita-esque looking character here, but uh, if I were to do something like, I don't know, I'll give you very light on the cheek. That, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this look he looks like a scruffy character which is neat enough time on this one. Okay. I think I should, oh, I should have started on the left side first because my, oh, my hand's going to be here. There we go. Alright, this one reminds me more of 60s look. More of a 60s look. So maybe I'll just really dive into some Alright, my camera ran out of battery, or er, ran out of storage, so I was gabbing and drawing without realizing it. <laughs> I also just realized that I didn't really include many styles with the fuzzy hair texture, so I'm going to quickly do a couple more, although so far I feel like this one is my favorite, so I'm going to go with that one. And then I want to start doing some character thumbnails, but uh, first we'll start with down here. Oops, one sec. Light. 
I'm also going to do a time lapse because I'm probably going to lose track of time again and rather not run out of storage. So I got some faces done. These were definitely quicker than the previous. I think these two are my favorite. I I think I'm still leaning more towards this one. But we'll see. So I'm going to work on some thumbnails of the outfit and then see if I can quickly do a full body maybe. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room because if I do uh, that maybe she'd be sitting. like that. Maybe that way I could get her full body in the shot, who knows. And I certainly hope that she'll be able to pose more like this than she previously was. So, that's the plan I guess. Some sketchings done. Pretty happy with that. I'm not sure what I was thinking for this one because that's definitely more of like a 80s, 70s type of look while the rest of them are more Lolita-ish. And I really like the overall ones for sure. So I think this is the look I want to go for. Uh, 
one of my concerns with doing a more wavy, a more natural style like this, which is definitely more Afro inspired, is that she's not, she doesn't look particularly African American, and I want to do something that's a little more appropriate, so I think this will be her look. I definitely like that she has um, a more Asian appearance, so I think I'm going to lean on that for her face up and have her hair like that. I always love big bows on, on blouses. I think it's going to be adorable. And I don't think I have tiny heart buttons, but I can try to make something. And then I think I'm just going to put a frill in a boot and then repaint those and as well as give her stockings. Actually, I started doing the most ridiculous thing I could think of at the time, I guess, which is to try to knit some stockings for her because I don't have any doll stockings that would match this color. So that's going very slowly, but then again, I've been busy with other things too, so. But I've never needed anything this tiny before, so that's kind of neat. And that's what I think this will be. I think I'm going to clean up the lines a little bit and then start putting some color in here. Because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do for the pants. I know for sure that I want the blouse to and the bow to be this pink cotton. And then I'm just not sure if I want to do it mostly in white stripes or check and then add contrasting pockets. Excuse me. I like the idea of having corduroy, but this is extremely Excuse me, Jesus. Extremely stiff. And I want this to be a poofy pants design. I don't mind doing pockets in this contrast, maybe. It looks better with this, though. Let me play with some colors. I might actually take a picture and try to... Maybe I'll just trace it. I think I'll clean up the lines first, at least. like more color. I forgot how you can push color around so that it doesn't pull up in one place. Wow, you might ask, did I stop painting? I mean, stopped. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, I think it'll work pretty well. Good old skin color.
That felt nice. I haven't painted in so long and I am really happy with that design. I think we'll go with the gingham. We'll see. It should look cute. Add some lace and some other pink details and gold and some boots. I think it's going to be fun. But I guess that's it. I have plans to do other videos, but I'm also... that Okay, I should uh, add that plans to do other videos before the end of the year. But I don't want to commit myself to that. Just because it would be nice to have a break. So, I do still plan to do a holiday house tour. It's not actually fully decorated yet, It's, which is a little disappointing, but I do have at least the update of the fabric garland is currently here, and I really like how it looks. I have eight more sections to add, and then I can put it up. And then I um, haven't made any progress on the pillow because of other things, so. Such is the way when you want to do multiple projects, I guess. But also anyway, thanks for watching. And if I don't see you before Christmas, then Merry Christmas if you celebrate. If not, then Happy Holidays and Happy New Year regardless. And...